What a privilege it is for me to have my EDSA challenge with James Deacon. (laughs) Yeah, this is where the courage kicks in. Yeah, so I would go now. Courage! Courage! And stay on this lane here. Courage! So Sam is getting on EDSA for the very first time in her two-year driving career. She's been learning for two years in a Mazda CX-3. It's got the same trim as the CX-9. Yes, it does. It's, it feels very luxurious. I That's love nice. And so this I one's the premium nothing. one with it's the Bose my, sound system. It's my yes. first time driving this car, so I'm also like just trying to get acquainted. And yeah, then, this is where the courage kicks in. Yeah, so I, I would go Sam. now. Courage! Now. Courage! And stay on this lane here. You got yeah. Courage! Now you have to get out of the yellow lane as soon as you can. You're supposed to do it in that diagonal okay. thing, but do it at your Signal. when you feel safe. I'm sorry, you're awesome. Oh. How also, does it feel? be aware of your lane, Sama. Try to stay in the middle of the lane. I'm trying to be aware of everything right now. I'm just. It's I'm, just a lot. I'm laughing because I'm just imagining somebody watching this, going, "What lanes? What's what are they talking uh, about? What uh, lanes? Pala yung Edsa. Actually, it's totoo lang. I, I don't know really what they're talking about. Eh, because uh, there isn't really much direction or instruction on the road right now, guys. Can I talk about my pet peeves? You can go, go. for gold. My pet peeves are yes, drivers that straddle the lines, like uh-huh. they don't stay in between the uh-huh. lanes. My other pet peeve, when I ride grabs and the drivers have the seat belt around them and plugged in so the car Oh yeah, seat. behind them, behind yeah, them. Yeah, I always call them out on that. I'm like, that's not right. I'm enjoying this. Hearing, it's, it's, hearing Yeah, it's, it's, it's nice just to, just to be part of this, you know. Aww. In, in, in the formative years of this person's driving, <laughs> Sam's driving. I've been with seasoned professional drivers and they freak out on Edsa, so don't worry. Everyone <laughs> freaks out on Edsa. Okay, another pet peeve of mine. Last night, I swear to God, there's a lot, but this is the last <laughs> I'm going to say for today. My pet peeve on C5 and Edsa in this country is that buses think they're the size of a motorcycle when they cut you off. No. no. And motorcycles just don't follow any of no. rules. They just weave through, like cut you off. I'm always like, <laughs> like avoiding motorcycles squeezing themselves into the smallest spaces on the road. That's because there was no development plan for them. And that yeah. goes for everything that we do here. You already know that this is going to be a fast growing space based on our economic, the social status and of the affordability of them, the traffic, all the mm-hmm. whatchamacallit. How are you, Sam? Oh, I'm breathing techniques. I'm just breathing. I'm, I'm, honestly, just guys, it's just, it. it is my, like I'm exercising birth. an act of mindfulness right now. And I'm just trying to focus on the road and stay calm and collect. I think that I am way more calm than I was before when we tried doing this on C5 with Sophia. I think I've come a very, very long way from that. Grab ka naman kuya, tinataranta mo ako ah. My God, this kuya! Don't panag! Don't kumbaga. Sweaty pits no more. Because we had so many sweaty pits moments. So tense, man. I'm getting really sweaty right now. I'm blending. I'm getting sweaty pits. But in fairness, I would like to say I'm proud of me and Sam. She has never bumped anything. See, I told you they yeah, do that. They do that. Oh, that's so scary! That. How do people even like go? Oh, sh- you're, you're, you feel like a pebble in a river, oh, right? How yeah. do people going go? around you. And oh my god, that's life the worst. worse here for newbie drivers and drivers in general. Buses and jeepneys do that as well. I'm trying yeah. to make sick sick here, but these people are so scary, man. Oh. Just use your mirror, Sam, and then use your intelligence. I am trying with all my might to use my intelligence. When is the right time to? Kili, what is, kili this, power. this is a new intelligence. <laughs> you know, because it's this. I, I feel. I'm I feel for her because it's like gonna do this. But she has to go through this. She has to go she through this. She can't drive on her own if she doesn't do this with us. You know but what? I'm, I'm. My frame of mind is very different. Like I went from um, calm mode to survival mode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They should have a button there. No? They, they, they have all these other modes like eco yeah. mode and all that. They should have survival, survival mode. They should have Edsa mode. Come on, Maz. They were waiting for it. Survival mode. That's when it just like a sheet of armor goes around your car and then spikes come out of your wheels. Yeah. Starting to feel it. Okay. But this is the predicament that we have. It's like we're, we're trying to teach Sam the right things. And the right thing to do is to indicate, right? Use your traffic uh, your indicators. Indicate. But what happens indicate. in the what happens in the real world? As soon as you indicate you want to turn, the guy's gonna speed up. The guy alongside is gonna say, ah! 
I didn't want that space until I knew you wanted it. So, <laughs> otherwise so known as... Toy. It's otherwise so known as... Toy. You know what? Now I have a new term for like guys or... Well, girls in general too. But guys and girls on the road that don't follow traffic rules and regulations. Totoy kayo. Hindi kayo cool. Totoy? Mga totoy boogie. Mga, yeah. mga totoy at boogie sa road. Hindi <laughs> na uso ang hindi woke guys ha. I actually want to know like how woke really are you of like what is going on with our country how come we don't have an underground subway system how come our roads are so narrow comment down below and let us know like what you think our real issues are that should actually be solved already by the government yeah the comment section will be a great great place for you to identify where you think the root problem is because we're covering the superficial stuff but as we mentioned in a previous video, we're, you have to dive into the culture, the infrastructure, the politics of it all. And that's where, like this latest modernization that they just put on hold once again. That's another stay of execution for the modernization. Oh my God. What message does that send across? That we just can't move forward because we're being held down by the minority. The one what are you doing? This is my first Edsa Road Rage. I'm sorry, James. You're always saying something and we're always it's like... It's okay. This is, so how, this is how it is. Driving situation. I'm so sorry because... Are you even supposed to be here? No, he's not supposed to be here. You're not that. supposed to be here. He's not supposed to be here. But this is a once again going and back to the design And you're not supposed to do flow. that. about four times without us saying anything but I was watching you and you were fine. I was did super focusing. Each time? She did. She did. Hi. She did. And she just like used her intelligence. So proud of Genuine smiles, <laughs> guys. Genuine she used smiles. her intelligence to like glance Milestone. at her That is super We didn't have unlocked. to say like okay you have to do it now. How about we also cap this with some parking? Thank you, James, for being so patient. Oh, it's a pleasure. So Always got time for people who are willing to learn. What Aww. a privilege it is for me to have my Edsa challenge with James Deacon <laughs> in the car, guys. Is that what you're trying to do, or are you reverse park? We can park? do whatever seems like a good idea. This one, Kaka, she's, she's, she, she's only bar probably parallel parked once. With Wait, can you give Sam your tips first of what she's supposed to do? Better? I would start turning steps. now now you can see the lines there in your mirror so just try and aim these things here into that okay now you're on track you see the the blue lines are perfectly matched up to the white lines yeah boom okay wow i'm so thank happy thank you so much well, Sam, you passed the flying colors with everything oops sorry not my thing to say what is your judgment now of sam's driving well you know she's got the basics which is which is important it's now confidence comes in time so you will you will develop that over time and you will learn to get into the groove and um i think you did extremely well i think you did really well for for I, like I said, I've seen experienced <laughs> drivers freak out a lot more than you did. You kept your cool. Oh, there's a little road rage there. <laughs> but you know what? Road rage, as long as it's confined in the, you contain the blast. Just do it in your own car. Never get out of your car, ever. Scream as much as you like among friends. I talk to myself a lot in the car. Do that. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. In Have fact, that's good. With myself. <laughs> yeah. Scream, shout, call, call yeah. him names, whatever. As long as just, it's a safe space yes, and you don't leave it, it, you're all good. Final thing, what is my grade? Well, I'm, I'm looking at how much you've absorbed and okay. I think I will grade you a 10 out of 10 for that because you're absorbing. I've always said that operating a vehicle you can learn in one day. That's the easy part and you've done that. It's driving as a culture and a mindset that you need to continue to hone for the rest of your life. If you drive for 50 years, you're still learning because you're adapting to other people. Yeah. So always keep that open mind. So I'm giving you a full perfect 10 because everything else, if you get that right, will follow. Okay, well, thank you so much, James, for joining thank us. Thank you I'd so really, much. Thank you, know, you so this much for being on the show. gave me the confidence to hopefully do our longer trips. Yeah. Hopefully, and we can do maybe a road trip together as well. If you like our videos, guys, please subscribe to our channel, to Bianca's channel. And of course, don't forget to hit the notification button to make sure that you get notified when we upload new videos. Well, we hope you like this video. So press the like button and then follow this YouTube channel and this playlist Riding in Cars with Girls. You can also follow Riding in Cars with Girls on Instagram and on Facebook and me, Bianca underscore King. And don't forget to follow me, Sambi Rodriguez. And thank you again, James. Bye guys. Don't forget to follow James as well. Thank you. His Facebook account is awesome. Any last words? 
Filipino drivers. Just be mindful of others and drive safely.